What's up everybody? This is Alex. Uh, today I got a quick video on GPS collars. So I got one right here. This is what I'll what I put on my research animals here in South Carolina, the coyote. This weighs about 1.2 pounds and it's a GPS collar um, from Bretronic Aerospace. Um, and so go and leave me a comment below. Um, first, tell me if, if you were to, you, you could track any animal um, put a GPS unit on any animal, which animal would that be and why? Um, let's talk about the different features. So up, up top here, this, this underneath this plastic is the sensors. This what we'll have, you know, the GPS sensor, the radio, um, it'll have uh, like a, a gyroscope to see which direct, uh, the orientation of the animal at any time. Um, so that's kind of the fancy technology up here. And we always put that face in the sky. So you know, a four-legged animal that's gonna be facing up here you know easier access to the satellites a clear clear view of the satellites down here is the batteries this is kind of the heaviest part hangs low on the animal's neck um, so that's what is applying the, the power to the to the collar third connecting these those two parts of these belts um, is this really durable um, rubber kind of stuff um, and these collars are nice that we we had them paint um, unique um, letters and numbers on them that's cool. So we have a bunch of wildlife cameras on our study site. And, you know, if we see this animal with the collar, we can say, oh, that's Coyote S or whatever, and not just um, some random coyote with a collar on it. So that's cool. Um, up here, we have these magnets and these come off. So when that magnet's on, the collar is deactivated. And that GPS is not going to be taking any any data. It's not going to be wasting any battery. You know, I'm at home. I don't want to take the GPS point right now. When I, once I take it off, so when we're, when we capture the animal, put the collar on, always make sure this magnet's off because that activates the collar. There's also one down here for the drop-off mechanism, like that. And the drop-off is actually really cool technology. So I'll kind of show you here. This portion right here with that, that red border, red underneath. Um, and what this does is essentially we can program this collar and this drop-off specifically to pop off the animal at a predetermined date or time. And that's really nice because some of the data on these collars um, is, is I won't get through the satellite. So it'll just store the data on the collar. And if I want that data back, I need to get the collar back. And if, unless I catch the animal, right, there's no way to get that way that data back um, unless you get close to the collar and, and uh, you know, remote, remotely download it. But this is a drop off mechanism. And so it'll pop right off. And there's little pins, these little pins pop off through there with a little charge. And then this belt gets loose and it falls off the animal. Then I can go find the collar. I actually got this one back today. This didn't, not from a drop off, but uh, um, someone shot the coyote, but uh, got it, got this collar back today. So I'll be downloading the data here shortly. Um, this collar costs about $1,500 and uh, that's a lot of money, right? Especially if you want, you know, multiple of these. Um, and so they're really valuable and we, you know, try and take really good care of them and um, hopefully we get a lot of good data from them. And I'll make another video talking about, you know, the pros and cons of GPS collars versus just VHF. Or... But for now, you know, this is, this is what, what I use for my research on coyotes. And lastly, I'll show you this, this special USB stick, which comes with the collars. And this is used to basically download the data onto my computer. So it's basically a Bluetooth plug in my laptop and it connects with the collar and I'm able to download the, the, the data using Bluetooth. That's cool. All right, thanks for watching. That's GPS Collars 101.